Hi, and welcome to our review of Pearson's capabilities. My name is Suzanne Roder, and I'm the Director of Marketing. Well, Pearson provides machinery for erecting, packing, sealing, and palletizing. Today, I want to focus on pick, pack, pal exclusively, so that at the end of this presentation, you can walk away knowing if your application could be a perfect fit for our expertise. So let's start with a quick stop at the grocery store. Do you see all those bags, pouches, and flow wrap products? Over the years, the presence of flexible products has tremendously grown, hasn't it? And along with them, the need for flexible solutions. Do you recognize yourself in this image? Your job is not getting any easier, is it? More and more SKUs, marketing constantly changing case styles or pack patterns to adapt to consumer preferences, sustainable materials need to be used even if they don't run as well on the machines, and to cut supply chain costs, retailers are pushing the responsibility for shelf presence to you. And all that with limited manufacturing space, growing skill gaps in your workforce, and high operator turnover. Am I stressing you out yet? As your stress levels grow, so do ours. Because let's face it, your requests to us OEMs are not getting any simpler either. You need many different products, pack or pallet configurations all in one line. Changeovers should be instant and ideally not require any human intervention. Some growth capacity should be built in, but more space is not available and maintenance costs for both from a time and part perspective must be minimized. You're asking for a lot, but we're trying hard to meet all those requirements. Do you see that strain in our face? Okay, so let's talk about how Pearson answers that call. A little heads up, after 30 years of experience, we're pretty good at this. All right, let's get started with the loading technique. Pearson is focused exclusively on top loading, and that just happens to be the ideal loading technique for flexible products such as bags and pouches that cannot be pushed or squared. With top loading, we can address random product orientation by adding vision, and we can gently pick and place delicate items. We can shingle or interleave them. Because we're focused on top loading, we also focus on discrete machinery for erect, pack, and seal functions. That allows us to add accumulation and buffering so that when one part stops, not everything is affected and your overall throughput can be protected. What else do we do to provide you with the most flexible solutions for your application? Well, we do everything robotically. A few years ago, we retired our gantry packers because robots offer so many more advantages. The motion profile can be easily adjusted, so when marketing comes out with a new variation of a variation, the robot can handle it. Robots are able to change over with minimal to no interference, just like you can see in the video here. And because of the lower part count and mechanical wear, maintenance requirements are much lower than with a mechanical piece of equipment, while in turn the reliability is much better. All of our end of arm tools are custom designed so that we can address any kind of specific application challenges. We also regularly employ vision and line tracking in our packing systems. That helps us to keep the footprint of the solution small. As you can see in some of the video examples, we can pick and pack multiple products that are randomly presented to us. Without vision and line tracking, we would have had to design an area for correlation and pattern forming, which takes a valuable space. Vision and line tracking also allows continuous motion of the operation. You don't have to worry about intermittent stops anymore to pick the load, which can lead to faster wear of machine components and certainly slows down the speed. Here's an example of a 3D vision system which is particularly useful if small variations in product height need to be identified. Since it uses a laser to scan a product, good lighting and high contrast backgrounds aren't as important anymore. Imagine you wanted to pack hot dogs and needed to identify leakers. The laser would be able to tell if the package is still tightly sealed or if air has entered and the peaks and valleys have smoothed out. The next technology is one that I'm really excited about pushes the level of flexibility to new heights. With independent cart technology, you get everything in a really small footprint. 
because the cards move independently as the name suggests, accumulation and buffering can be accomplished without the space that is traditionally needed. With the eye track or magnum motion, we can load horizontally and vertically pretty much simultaneously. Changeover can be automatic, or if retooling is needed, it is really simple and the system is quickly ready to be redeployed. Also, just like we discussed with the robots, the tracks significantly reduce your part count, which means less wear and maintenance for you. The last technology I want to touch on that we use to handle flexible products is the catcher smith. As you can see, the pattern is formed as the product is loaded, so it reduces that need upstream, which again reduces complexity, footprint, and changeovers. It is particularly well suited for single and multi-facing pack patterns with high speeds and counts, but it does need a stable product that can handle the pitch and catch. Since the presentation was called Pick, Pack, and Pal, I want to quickly transition to palletizing now. Pearson offers custom and standard solutions. Custom solutions are your best bet for central palletizing systems, high payload or speed, or when you need to integrate equipment such as stretch wrapping. Or if you have products other than regular cases, such as drums, bags, or pails. Our standard palletizers, on the other hand, are a great solution for single production lines with payload limits of 40 pounds and slower speeds. They are a low-cost solution with the compact palletizer starting under $100,000. They're super small, configurable, come on a common base so you can lift it into a truck, move it around, and start it up really easily. This product family is also available under the machine as a service program, which means if you don't have CapEx available, you can still automate. But unlike a lease, you are not tied to minimum output or years in service. If this sounds like an interesting solution, I encourage you to contact us to learn more about this program. And lastly, since we're talking about flexible solutions, I want to be sure to mention that all of our equipment comes with a remote access router and many systems also take advantage of a camera setup. So we can effectively support you from anywhere without any delays in travel time and make sure your equipment is producing as it should be. With this, I want to wrap it up, and I hope I leave you with a good understanding of Pearson's pick, pack, and palletizing capabilities. And while this presentation was focused on flexible products requiring flexible solutions, I do want to mention that we have handled many applications involving trays and cartons into cases as well. Now I look forward to hearing about your projects so we can discuss how we can help you increase your efficiencies.